In the past, customary marriages were not recognized as valid marriages as they are today. They were regarded as unions. A person married in terms of customary law could enter into a subsequent civil marriage. Upon entering into a civil marriage, the customary marriage would automatically be dissolved. However, the law provided a measure of protection to the family that was formed as a result of a customary marriage for the purposes of succession and inheritance. The position was different in the Transkai and Wazulu Natal. In Transkai, dual marriages were recognized, that is, in terms of the Transkai Marriages Act, a husband in a subsisting civil marriage could enter into an additional customary marriage provided the civil marriage was concluded out of committee of property and vice versa. In terms of the Code of Zulu Law, although a civil marriage between black people was deemed out of committee of property, parties could declare before a commissioner or magistrate that they would like their marriage to be in community of property. This, of course, was subject to certain conditions. At present, customary marriages are recognized in terms of the recognition of Customary Marriages Act. The requirements for a valid customary marriage are stipulated in this Act. The Act does not expressly provide for ilobolo as a requirement for a valid marriage. It does, however, provide that the marriage must be negotiated and entered into or celebrated in accordance with customary law. The Act also provides for the registration of a customary marriage, although this is not a requirement for validity. Registration, however, does provide certainty of the existence of a customary marriage, especially in cases of dispute. In order to ascertain the existence of a customary marriage, South African courts had to consider factors such as ilobolo and customs like ubumegeza in order to establish whether a valid customary marriage existed. Ubumegeza is an Isiswati customs in terms of which a bride was formally integrated into the bride's groom family. See Mabuza versus Mbata in this regard. The Recognition of Customary Marriages Act recognizes polygyny and it confers an equal status upon parties in the marriage. A divorce order for a customary marriage can only be granted by the court.